Now, sometimes we have raised people that we have talked power out of their growth. Talked power. You cannot do the gospel thing without power. Let me give you an instance. I was ministering in the crusade in our world. 2016. No, 2015. No, 2016. 2016. So I was ministering. I was speaking Yoruba. And the person that was interpreting for me was interpreting in Ibira. Now I've never heard Ibira in my life. So, after the meeting, we had a stand where people come get drugs and all that. And there was a young man that came that had if, I'm, if I can remember correctly, it's either gonorrhea or something. We're going to administer a drug to him. But the, that strong antibiotics had finished. He's been struggling to urinate for a while. Now, the boy is the son of the chief imam of that place. So I said to him, what would I prescribe to you as finished? Okay? But... Um, you don't have to go through that route. I can get you healed right now. I say he won't. He doesn't mind. I said, have you given your life to Christ? I said, no. Then I sat him down, talked to him about Jesus. Got him baptized in the Holy Ghost right there and then. Got him saved. Laid hands on him and commanded that spirit behind the infirmity to get out. Every sickness has their root spiritually. And sometimes you try to struggle with healing because you are not addressing the root. Are you following what I'm saying? So I commanded the spirit, get out of him now and be made free. All right? The boy went to ease himself. I said, go and check yourself out. And for the first time in months, he could do it properly. And he was screaming from there, yeah, they don't heal me up. They don't. <laughs> That's how we got the boy born again. Got him healed right there. Are you following what I'm saying here? The boy went home. The father called him for prayers. He said he's now a Christian. The father got offended, came to the crusade ground the following day because now he's angry and he said, I'm going to deal with this idiot that think he can come to this village and do all those things. So the man came. Now I was preaching and I had an interpreter. I, I did not understand what the interpreter, so even if he was wrong, I don't know. But so, you know, sometimes just by the Spirit, just speaking in tongues while preaching. It was by the Spirit, speaking in tongues. You know, probably describing something you, <laughs> you can energize, you speak in tongues. But what I didn't realize was that I was speaking in a mirror. And the man was actually hearing me say, he came to tell us. Because after the crusade, after we, when we called out call, he didn't come out. But when everyone else left, he came to lay down and was crying. I said, he didn't even know that we are from the same place. So I said, which place? <laughs> he said, what? You, he said you, you are speaking? He said, that's my language you are speaking. He said, yeah. I said, me. <laughs> was, he said, you told me that if I don't give my life to Christ tonight, I might die. Me. He said, you said it three times. I said, that's Jesus talking to you. That's how the man came, gave his life to Christ, got baptized in the Holy Ghost right there and then. We need power to preach the gospel. The gospel is not a message that lacks evidence. We need what? Power. We need what? We need what? The same way we have come to Abuja for Spirit of Light Church, we are going to take this city by power. All of you seated here. This is Sunday school class. Do you understand what I'm saying? 